reading slums are literally my worst nightmare because books are my life books are what makes me happy books are literally i'm living in books and when i cannot read them when i do not have this possibility of escaping into them I feel like I'm dull, I feel like I'm empty, I feel like something is missing. So, I compiled a list of books that got me out of a lot of reading slums and that I feel like could help you too if you're in this kind of situation. The first book that I want to talk about is actually one that I didn't really see so much talk about on TikTok at least, or like I haven't been on YouTube when this book came out, but like it's Legend by Mary Lou. And this thing, I, I don't even know how to explain. Okay, so I'm gonna explain. It's kind of a dystopian. It's somewhat a combination between Divergent or like on Hunger Games in a way, but also not really because it's very unique to how it is written because it has two characters, one guy and one girl. The girl is like the most intelligent person at like this does that happens in this world. And she got like the highest grade and like, she has, she's, she kind of succeeded in this society. And then the guy who is a complete, like who, who failed completely this test, who, whatever. And I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to say anything else. But they end up meeting and, yeah. It has, I want to say three books, but also it has a fourth book with the, uh, main character who's the brother of the main character from this, like the guy main character from this, they, they is the sweetest person on earth. Like, how do I even explain this? It's like, I, he's the love of my life, literally the love of my life. He's, you, you'll see, just, just try to read it. It's so fast paced. A lot of things happen at the same time. It literally keeps you on the edge the entire time you're reading it. And it's getting very hot. And I don't know if it's getting very hot because they don't recommend anything by Mary Lou except for like Young Elites, which I liked the first book, but then it kind of got... Mm. But like Legend is genius, genius. And I think it also has an audiobook if you want to try it out. The next book I want to talk about is obviously Six of Crows, which got me out of a big reading slump. And I just want to say that the first chapter kind of made me don't not want to read the book for some reason because i don't know what's i i don't know why she wrote it like this but the first chapter has no like no connection to the rest of the book and like it's kind of not boring but like it's written in a weird way not really the style of the whole book so i would just if if that first chapter throws you off just give it another chance, just give it another chapter and then you'll be, and you'll get stuck into the world. Because trust me when I say this is, this is brilliant and the, the reason behind like me getting so attached to this book was because I did not understand anything that was going on, but at the same time I understood a, like a little bit that made me want to understand more and the characters that are absolutely amazing and also Obviously, Shadow and Bone came out, like Cass and Jasper and Nine and Nage oh, are going are coming to life. Or already came, and I haven't yet um, seen the season two of the series Shadow and Bone, so we need to do that quickly. But like Six of Crows, the next book that I want to talk about is On Earth for Broadly Gorgeous by Ocean Fung. Fung Fung. I have no idea how to read his name. I'm sorry. And the reason this book got me out of my reading slump is because it has the most beautiful writing in the whole entire world. The whole book feels like an essay concept thing and it literally had the structure of the book, the structure of the letters. This is pretty much... Uh, the whole book is made of letters that the main character writes to his mother and the letters start getting very interesting in terms of what words he chooses, what kind of repetition happens. Like every letter feels like a little essay that has a beginning, middle and end. And like the ending usually connects with the beginning. And like usually throughout the beginning, you have a lot of essays that connect further in the... Oh, it's just so beautiful and the writing is so beautiful. Just trust me. Just read this and you... you, 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 you. Anyways, the next book is the first romance I'm going to talk about in this video, and it's Letters Lost by Bridget Kimmerer, 
which Bridget Kimmer is one of my favorite romance authors. Like she's so amazing with how she makes the two characters. She, it, it has like double POV and how she makes the characters just fall in love with each other and like connect with each other and like it, they have almost no sexual tension and most of it is just psychological tension with that, which I love the most and after I read like one page of this this is just and also more than we can tell is I think the first book in the series I would really read or like second I don't know it's like a duology and stuff it's also amazing and like it has so many cute moments that I've read all both of these books one after the other in like one day like one night uh, uh both of them so Okay, so the books that I'm gonna show you now are not, I don't have them physically. So the first one is Daisy Jones and the Six, and I think it's gonna come out like the series or the film or whatever. This book is made of, solely made of interview lines and like dialogue. There's no description at all for what I remember. That's what makes it very, very easy to read. Like I think I've read it in like four hours max. And it's so interesting. Like Taylor Jenkins read, is a genius in making like characters develop and like plot twists and the, like the twists in the story <sighs> and it's also a story about like a band in i think la it, oh, it's just it gives you such a vibe the next book is the first extremely high fantasy well high fantasy higher fantasy on this list but it's like the classic, and I've read this whole series, the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I've read it in, I think, four days, and it has like 900 pages or like 600 pages each book. Um, but it so deserves it. It's so worth it. It's like that the universe is built so differently. You start from the action, well, kind of start from the action, but afterwards, like, things just... Oh. In the beginning, I thought I wasn't, like prepared for this kind of longevity of a book or like length I just thought I wasn't okay with it like I wasn't gonna I was gonna get bored or like I was gonna whatever not be able to finish the book but trust me it just keeps you in the story it's just so many things happen there's so many characters and there's like you have this woman who's kind of poor but she has like powers and then she ends up having to play royalty um, and like go to balls and stuff and I'm not going to say anything more but like and there's like this is just the beginning of the story the first book is just the beginning of the story then the you, you start with like planning wars and like there's a romance that's very cute <laughs> okay I'm gonna stop the last book I want to talk about is one that broke me into pieces but also got me oh, got me thinking but also got me oh, extremely out of my reading slump like I was in a two month reading slump and then I read this and I was like okay now we're gonna read 10 books per week and it's You've Reached Sam by Dustin Tao 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 I'm not gonna say more about it because you just have to give it a try it's very short and it's very easy to read but it's basically the boyfriend of the main character dies and she the thing is that she keeps in touch with him from the land of the dead through his phone and she literally calls him like she, they literally talk they have <sighs> it's a very intense book and you start realizing the its intensity throughout it but it's also very heartwarming and it's a story of acceptance and the story of accepting what's happening in life and i feel like it's extre so extremely beautiful in any case, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have other recommendations for getting me or getting other people in the comment section out of their reading slumps, then please comment them down below. If you want to talk about any of the books I just mentioned, please. I love having reading buddies and I would love to talk to you about it. Also, if you want to subscribe, and I'll be so extremely active in the following months because I really need money to travel the world and buy books. So if you want to join the community, please subscribe, like, comment, whatever, and see you in another clip. Kisses, bye-bye.